We don't think it's fair that a teacher or electrician pays taxes on 100% of their income, while a multimillionaire pays taxes only on 50% of the passive income they make on capital gains. So we're going to make them pay a little more. This tax will not apply to anyone's primary residence. And so 99.87% of Canadians will not pay a cent more tax. Those who will will be those who've benefited from an economy that seems tipped towards them and away from everyone else, particularly young people. So we're asking them to pay their fair share so that younger generations can have the same opportunities that Xers, Boomers and other generations had when they were starting out in their lives. The people that are driving our economy, the Millennials and Gen Z who make up the majority of our workforce already, deserve the same advantages. This is the challenge we need to meet and our plan will meet this moment. Conservatives have already said they're voting against this budget. They're voting against fairness. They will be voting against asking the ultra-rich to pay their share. Canadians need responsible leadership right now. Leaders who come to them with solutions, ready to invest in Canadians' ideas and Canadians' futures. This budget lays out a plan to make sure Canadians can build homes, build companies, build solutions, and make the best country in the world even better. So let's get to it together. Let's build a country that is stronger, more prosperous, and fair for every generation. Merci, mes amis.